Today we will be obtaining the Depraved Perfumer Armor Set in Elden Ring. We can actually get the entire armor set in one location very early on in the game, though it can be quite a challenge to do at a low level unless you follow one of my other guides that shows you how to level up quickly, which I'll leave in the description below. This is a light armor set, which is great for mages. They will likely be mixing up parts of this armor set with others to create the best mage armor set combination for your build. There are actually three versions of the Perfumer armor set in Elden Ring. The Depraved Perfumer armor set, which we'll be getting in today's video, is a heretical version of the original Perfumer sets and arguably the best version. As you can see, the Perfumer armor set is lighter but offers less physical resistance than the Depraved Perfumer armor set. Not to mention, the Depraved set looks way better with the heretical depiction of the Erd Tree on its cloak. You see, it's said that the Depraved Perfumers actually drunk their perfumes to alter their body and mind, making them slowly descend into madness. And this self-destruction gave them the name Deprived and separates them from the original royal prestigious perfumers. So to obtain the Deprived Perfumer armor set, we must come along all the way to the north to this location on the map. Now don't worry if you've not unlocked the map or you've never been to this location yet, I'm about to show you how to get here step by step. But if you know how to get here, you can just skip ahead to the farming method using the video timestamps below. After doing the tutorial, you'll start the game here at the first step resting site. From there, you're going to want to go northwards to the church where you meet the merchant, and then you carry on going north, and you eventually come to these ruins called Gatefront Ruins. And just over here is where we're going to start at the Gatefront Castle Gate. From the Gatefront Ruins, you're going to want to come west down this pathway just here, all the way to the north, and you'll find another resting spot just here. So we're going to put a waypoint there. And then just to the north of that, you're going to come underneath this huge bridge. I'll put another waypoint just there. And then, continuing on from that bridge, you're going to find a broken bridge, which is going to be like a dead end. So now let's go ahead and ride that first section through the gatehouse here. You're going to want to just ride your horse into Stormgate and sort of dodge to the left and right and watch out for a monster that drops down a giant from above. And then we're just going to continue riding onwards. It's a pretty easy area just to run through, so I wouldn't really worry about this at all. But when you reach Stormhill, you will get attacked by some wolves that jump down from the cliff edge. So run slightly to the right there and they won't hit you. Then just over here you'll find that resting spot just where the waypoint I placed was. And now from that resting spot we're just going to carry on heading north underneath that giant bridge that I showed you on the map. And we've already got our waypoint number two located just over there. So we're going to continue off the stone path onto this dirt track here under the bridge and just carry on going. Pretty easy, to be honest. A lot of people seem to think that this is a higher level area and you can't go here earlier, but you can go anywhere you like in Elden Ring. It's an open world game. So we're going to continue on to the end of this stone bridge here, which has fallen away. You cannot go any further. So loot this tarnished and now as you can see we're at this broken bridge what we need to do now is we need to put another marker directly to the left here and then to the north we're going to follow this wall that we can't actually see around put another marker there and then just to the left here you can see this part of the wall there's a little circle just to the north of that put another waypoint that's just like a rough guide of where we need to go next so from this broken bridge that we're on we're going to come down here because we can't get across any other way and we're just going to climb up this sort of rocky terrain here and it's actually going to lead us on a pathway it's just like a straight pathway it might look a little bit confusing to follow but it is literally just a straight pathway and just head all the way along you'll come across a couple of low level wolves that are not going to be a match for you battle brother you can just run past them though if you are afraid and i will not begrudge you if you are keep following it around following the cliff edge all the way and eventually you'll get to the lake and you can see right where I placed that third waypoint. This is where the area of grace. So now we're just here on the map at the lake facing cliffs resting point. Now, if you look to the northwest of this location into the sort of brown uncovered area, you can see 
that there's actually a location where you can find the map marker for this area. So that's where we're going to go next. Make sure you put a waypoint there, obviously. So from this resting spot, we're going to come behind us. There's a little path here. We're going to follow this path all the way down here. Um, and yeah, we don't actually need to kill anything. So we just sort of carry on riding. And we ride all the way down this path that goes through the valley here. And then you come out onto this open plain. You'll see there's sort of a bandit camp up ahead. Now you can ride directly through it if you want, or you can just ride around it. It really doesn't matter. That, but there we go. We rode around it. And you can see right ahead here, there's actually another resting spot of grace. And I recommend picking it up. And you can see right ahead of us here, there's a resting spot of grace, which we'll need to pick up. But before we go on, we're going to collect the map fragment, which is located slightly further into the water here, where we marked our waypoint. So go ahead and pick up this map fragment to unlock the map, and then we're just going to head back the last resting spot of grace we just unlocked. So after you've unlocked the map fragment, go back to the Leonia Lakeshore resting spot of grace, which we unlocked before we got the map fragment. And then we're going to want to go all the way following this cliff face to the left here until there's like a little black spot on the map just here. Just mark that on the map. That is basically where we're going. It is pretty foolproof though, so don't worry. Just follow where I go in the video from this resting spot. We are literally going to follow this cliff face to the left all the way along in a north direction. So just keep the cliff face on your left and you are going the correct way. Cannot go wrong, really. Now just here, you'll see, you'll get to this little area. There's loads of like creatures down there. You can avoid them by just going around here. Just saves you taking some damage. As long as you're keeping the cliff face on your left though, you are going in the correct direction. And also, if you look really closely, you can find some really cool Dark Souls-inspired artwork printed on metal sheets that can be stuck to your wall using magnets. As you can see, my entire side of the office is covered in these. And if you want to check them out for yourself, there's a sale on right now from the link below. Now eventually, if you carry on following these cliff faces, you will get to a wooden stake palisade on the left there. And you also see this giant looking gap in the cliff face ahead. This means you are going the correct direction. And we're going to keep this cliff face on our left still as we go onwards. Um, and we're going to head into like this cave structure right ahead of us. But now we're going to want to sort of bear to the left and still keep this cliff on our left hand side here and we're going to continue to go in the right direction by the way you don't want to get off your horse at this point because the ground is basically poison um, so do not get off your horse and you can see it's still on our left here and we're going to come across these bodies that are hanging from these poles here and this means we're in the right place so you can see we're just over here on the map, which my waypoint was a bit off over there, but you guys get the general direction of where we've come to this point. So from where all these bodies are, you can see a bridge up there. We're going to head underneath that bridge. We come under the bridge here and there is a small village. And right in front of us, we're going to see a resting spot of grace. I'm going to get off my horse here, get my torch out because it is super dark. It's basically in a cave. And we're going to come over here to the resting spot and we're just going to activate that over here. Now we've arrived at the farming location, we're just here on the map at the village of the Albanarics resting spot of grace. We can now start farming the armor set. So to farm this set, we need to defeat a deprived perfumer repeatedly, which is located just a few meters up the hill here, underneath the tree playing a flute. He's alone with no other enemies nearby, and he has a chance to drop the full armor set upon death, along with some other useful crafting ingredients. I'll explain how you can increase your drop chance really easily in a moment, which I highly recommend you do before bothering to farm any armor set in Elden Ring. But firstly, starting out, this is the best method of killing him for melee characters. We're going to sneak up behind him, going behind this tree here, 
right up to his back for an easy backstab critical attack. Then just spam attack him up close since he has a very low poise so he can be staggered easily and repeatedly, especially with jump power attacks to the point that he just cannot actually fight you back. Make sure that you do stay close to him though, because if he gets to a medium distance, he'll try and jump back and use his perfumer attack, which hits like an absolute truck with a massive area of effect. So as long as you stay really up close to him and keep staggering him and also backstabbing him if he tries to heal, he makes for a very easy fight. You just need to get used to keeping close to him. So basically we just kill him and then we rest at the resting spot of Grace to respawn him again and we do that repeatedly until he drops the whole deprived Perfumer armor set. Now if you're a mage or a ranger, this fight is actually a lot easier since you can just spam spells and arrows from a distance and he will pose very little threat to you. But again, at a lower level, you may lack the damage to finish him off purely with magic, unless you've leveled up your character following one of my other guides. But before you even start off farming this armor set from this guy, we're actually going to use several methods to increase our drop chance considerably. And by that I mean about a 500% increase in drop rate. There are three methods to increase your drop rate. Firstly, the easiest item to get is the silver pickled falfa. This is basically a consumable that increases your drop chance by 50 points for 3 minutes. You can also very easily farm hundreds of them if you follow my guide on how to find the recipe and find all the crafting materials linked down below in the description. In fact, I'm only using the silver pickled falfa for this video and I got the full armor set really quickly. Secondly, we have the silver tier mask. This is a helmet that increases your drop chance by a further 8 points while worn. And then thirdly, we have the silver scarab talisman that increases your drop chance by a further 75 points, though it's much harder to get. You can find a guide on how to get all of those items in the description below though. Then you'll have a total drop chance of 133 plus your arcane attribute. So with all those items, you'll find this armor set dropping like candy from a sweet shop. And you can also find even more hidden armor sets in the playlist link down below in the description. Like the Royal Remains armor set which actually heals you when your health is low. 